Hi, my name is Alicia, and I want to talk to you today about endurance. How do we have endurance through trials? This is something I'm very passionate about, and I recently experienced. Ten months ago, my husband Josh and I were blessed with having our first child, a baby girl named Parker. She's brought so much joy and laughter to our family, but I'll be honest, it didn't start out that way. The day that Parker came into the world, I experienced headaches, high blood pressure, preeclampsia, and my placenta was detaching internally, while Parker's heart rate was dropping. Our doctor said, Alicia, this is serious. We're gonna need to do an emergency C-section. My life and Parker's life were at risk. <sighs> Talk about having endurance through a trial. I found myself at a crossroad of choices. Am I going to give into my flesh, allowing worry, loneliness, or anger get the best of me? Or cast my cares and worries on the Lord, resting in the fact that God is with me in my storm, knowing that He will never leave me or forsake me? I chose to cast my cares and worries on the Lord. There was nothing in that moment I could do to control the situation, but pray and cry out to the Father. The Holy Spirit in that moment brought these verses to my mind. Isaiah 41:10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. And James 1, verses 2 through 4. Consider it great joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you experience various trials, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. The Lord has a mysterious way of working in us and through us if we allow Him. Parker came into the world, and although she was in the NICU for multiple days, she is stronger and healthier than ever before. We will never be the same because of that experience, and neither will the doctors or the nurses. So many people came to talk to Josh and I while I was in recovery. They made comments like, we don't understand, this is a miracle. If you waited any longer to come to the hospital, you both would have died. And my personal favorite, I haven't been to church in a long time, but because of you and Parker, I know that God is real. Because we live in a broken world, we're going to experience trials and heartache. John 16, says, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. He has overcome the world. My prayer over the next 21 days for myself and for you is that when we face trials of many kinds, we find endurance by holding on to the word of Christ, trusting that He is with us in the battle and He has already won. May we always grow in joy and maturity closer to God. And may the stories of our testimonies bring others to know Christ and the freedom that we find in Him. Let's pray. God, I thank you for the way that you are with us in our trials. Thank you for bringing scripture, your breathing word to life to help wrap your arms around us when we are facing these trials. Thank you that our trials test us, that they help us grow and draw closer to you, Lord. I ask that when we face these trials, that you remind us we are not alone and you are with us in the trial, that one day we will overcome the world and there will be no more trials, no more pain, no more hurt, but that we will get to live with you forever for eternity and worship you, Lord. We lift up all of our families at Hope City. I thank you for how our trials make us better and that they help us grow closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen.